Awesome. We are back. Flying Dutchman Cards. I'm here with my brother, Doug, and we are going to go through top 10 most interesting cards. So this is uh, this is a loose def definition of interesting, just something that we thought was interesting. So Not our top 10 favorite, just top 10 interesting. So they not quite favorite, but interesting. Interesting. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. So I'm going to start with my 10. So let's, uh, without any further ado, we'll jump in. So the first thing that I'm going to mention is I didn't do 10. I did 11. <laughs> but these first three all tied for 9th, 10th, and 11th. So I figured I could just wrap them all together. So it still doesn't uh, work. Yeah. It's, it's close. I, it's, it's your rules. So go for yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, as I was cataloging the uh, all of the cards, I started noticing a pattern in some of them. And one of them is that tops, specifically 1989, maybe over all time, they really loved catchers catching. So anytime that they could get a catcher uh, doing anything catchery, uh, they were bound to get a get a photo. So um, so this first example is Mark Parent for the Padres. He is rocking his. Uh, his full catching getup um, just in spring training. So they probably just pulled him out of a bullpen session and said, Hey, we're taking your picture. But um, he's also kind of like, Hey, is my Starbucks order here? Or like, <laughs> yes. wait, what, what, what sign signals were we using this time? I didn't yep. notice it before, but if you look, it looks like he's wearing some type of like short sleeve jacket or something. Cause he's got like a collar. Oh you yeah. Oh, yeah. Like he's got like two collars or something. So yeah, yeah. he could be wearing like a polo, like a Padres polo, <laughs> and then just put his catcher's like protective padding on over top right. of it. Also, too, what do you think that if you're taking your mask off? I mean, it looks like he's taking his mask off, right? But if yeah. you are, why would you have your glove up? Like, wouldn't that be the time you wouldn't want to? You know what I mean? So That's just. You always got to be ready. <laughs> it's like he's I'm in the middle of a field. He's not even by home base. He's like, I get balls could be coming from anywhere. I got to be ready. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, so, so this one is in catcher land. You know, at least it has a full catcher get up. So, moving on to our next one, uh, Mike Heath. So this is uh, this is a little bit of a stretch. You know, where it's like, hey, Mike Heath, uh, you're standing next to the the batting cage. Uh, I'm just going to take your picture and lean up against the wall. So it's, but he obviously is a catcher. He's got a chest protector. He's got the backwards helmet on. So just any, any homage to a catcher, they are just trying to milk it as much as possible. So I think, uh, I think catchers have this fear that they're going to be called up to bat. Or I mean, you know, the ending's going to be over and they're not going to be ready and everybody's going right. to be waiting on them. That's like their number one fear. So even during batting practice, he's like, if the game just has to start right away, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So it's like next and bat for the batting cages. So he's just going to quickly take those off, bat, and then put them back on yeah. right there. And, and that's probably why he wears the, the, the batting glove, you know, because a lot of guys wear underneath the glove because it's extra padding. But he's just wearing that because then he, that's one last thing he's got to, you know, got to worry about. So. It's like they're worth, they have nightmares about not <laughs> right. being, being in their gear in time. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, we start off with full catching gear. This is kind of half catching gear. And then we get to um, Bill Schroeder here. Um, and he just he just has his glove. So we uh, we have him kneeling down. And we just decided to throw his glove on there just to, just to show that he's a catcher. <laughs> so it's like he doesn't have to have his glove. He doesn't have to have – I mean, he's got his, his kind of like batting helmet light that he's wearing there. But um, I just thought it was funny, like as I was going through like so many catcher ones and the, the lengths that they'll go, it's like, wait, you're a catcher. Grab your glove. You're in. It's like he doesn't, they don't put the positions on the cards like we mentioned before, but yeah, they've got some type of catcher gear. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and I, what I like about Bill, the chin Schroeder on this <laughs> yes. one, he also just quickly grabbed one of the ice cream helmets to wear <laughs> as a hat instead of his catchers. Cause he's like, Hey kid, I got to get the ice cream helmet. But oh, he's like, yeah, I got ice cream going down the back of my neck. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Very nice. So, so those three, those three counted as as one entry or two entries, two for three. But <laughs> um, moving on to number eight, um, Steve, I'm going to call it Yelts, as I like to call it. Um, so, a couple of things that stood out for me on this one is a he has he has the ice cream helmet on again, which which from my understanding that John Olerud was the only player I ever knew that wore one, but I guess Steve Yelts uh, decided to rock one as well. But then also too that this is interesting because it's in it's a spring training game too because he's wearing a softball top, and so I thought it was just an interesting like I've never seen that before and why is he wearing an ice cream helmet and this might he, be similar this might be similar to the catching where he might be like a utility player and so if they're like we need <laughs> you to bat he's like I'm ready to go like I'm, yeah, yeah yeah good to go. Or, or maybe he's the backup catcher, and so he's just got to be ready to jump there in. There you go. Yeah. 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 Ready at all times. Yeah. I, I do want to note it, note that you are wearing your Steve Yelts uh, T-shirt, though. Right. I got to represent my yeah, favorite yeah. player going up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is a a Schmidt, Mike Schmidt, Mike Michael Jack Schmidt, as uh, I think yeah. Jack Jack Bucket always used to say that, but yes. maybe because his middle name was Jack. Okay, so next up, uh, so this is this is a couple has a couple interesting things in it. One, Doug Jennings catcher wearing a catcher's glove. Um, but two, another thing I noticed was there was a ton of pitchers at Tiger Stadium, as you can tell just because of the very distinctive uh, um, columns that you, you can see in the background here, and, and the, the upper deck that kind of overhang and all that kind of stuff. So you, you see a ton of it in just this blue color, and so I just saw a ton of these. And you see people warming up. And so this kind of goes along with this one as, you know, it looks like he's playing catch. And I'm pretty sure he's playing catch with Rick Honeycutt, who's also in the same <laughs> nice. stadium waiting for the ball to go. So so basically the, the photographer is in the middle of both of them. Snap, right. turn, snap, <laughs> snap, two done, moving on. Moving on. Where, where's another catcher I could take a picture of? So nice. I, just, I, like, I like that. I like that uh, the find that find. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rick Honeycutt, where where is your hat? You need you're a baseball player. You need to have your baseball hat on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it might be in his back pocket. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Or a glove yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Who, how excited though would you be if you were this guy and you're like, I totally remember that game, <laughs> and you're on a baseball card, but. Um, next up, this one. This one's kind of underrated. I feel like it could have actually broken my top ten just because it's pretty awesome. I've, I've been looking at it more. But Mike McFarland, a catcher, so that he didn't get get anything, but he did get a special pulling his bat out of the bat rack, um, which I just thought was hilarious. It's like, what? <laughs> this is an interesting, uh, interesting look here that you're just uh, getting ready, getting ready to go hit, but. Mike McFarland was known for his vintage bat collection. So he's <laughs> also showing it to the photographer, like, oh, you want to see this, you know, vintage bat that I've been saving all season? Yeah. It's like, ta-da. You definitely, you definitely have a theme of, of catchers. You have yes. a lot of catchers in your interest. Like yeah. it. Uh, next up, Tom Bolton. Um, I just want to, okay, here, here's the quiz. What, what do you think is the interesting part that I thought about this card? I think it is the Ferris wheel in the background. <laughs> yes. Why is there a Ferris wheel in the background? That's awesome. this picture? Like, I mean, I I understand it would be cooler if it was more Ferris wheel or no Ferris wheel. But it's like if it, it was like the, it was like the theme of the card was like Tom Bolton's crazy. He's on the he's a carnival man. He's a carny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, nope, we uh, we just got part of it. And we got this pole sticking out of your head. And it's like, and just somebody's house in the background. Like, yeah, so we, this is probably spring training. And I imagine yeah. Florida yeah. as opposed to Arizona, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fort Myers. There so, you go. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, that was, I was just like, well, there's that. Um, and then... Uh, my numbers are off. Oh well. Well, I think we got we got all these. <laughs> um, so you Kevin, <laughs> yeah, I did eleven, and then I actually did ten because I missed three. But oh well. Nice. Um, so Kevin Kaufman for the Braves. So what I thought was interesting about this is now with Cubs, so they didn't have time. He got traded, and 
they didn't have time to like change his card or put him in a different it, like like maybe they could have they had enough, well they had enough time to put this on so it's like they could have changed this to Cubs but they decided to just be like why well, is that he's in a Braves uniform like whatever yeah I bet it's probably the Braves uniform aspect of it right yeah, yeah. it looks like it looks like this photo also might have been picked because. You don't see a lot of you know it's the Braves uniform, but you don't see a, the you know the A or the the Braves across the chest. So right, yeah, yeah. they might have yeah. hoped to try to make it look like a Cubs uniform, and they're like, no, we don't have the budget to do that. Just put right. now Cubs on. Yeah. Well, but the but the funny part is like, could they just not have, like get a photographer just to take at least this level of photo? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, guys. Um, and so then my number one most interesting. Do, 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 you notice all these kind of mm -hmm. up a little bit. Um, Sound effects added Jody, in post. Jody Davis, a catcher <laughs> with his ice cream helmet on, with a uh, now with Braves. So he got traded for Kevin Kaufman. And so nice. uh so he shows up on there. But and uh, I think you would know, but I'm pretty sure these are the only cards in the whole set that have this little traded display, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 So yes, yeah, so I thought I thought those are just interesting. It was just like, oh, like that's funny that they would include it that way. So interesting. It does seem like a lot of these hats are very ice cream helmet like in right. 1988. Like I, I don't I don't feel like nowadays. I don't know. They don't look. They look probably a little deeper. These just seem yeah. like a little little small. Like short, yeah, like shorter brim or something, or yeah. It's funny that he's wearing it forward too. Like usually, I'd imagine, right? Even if he's just playing catch, I don't know. Maybe he's also yeah. shagging flies and wants the protection of the visor. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, so out of my out of my interesting one, I had what like six catchers, and then like three of them. I, I didn't even notice the thing about the ice cream helmets, but I have one, two, three. Four, and I guess he, well he might be just has a hat on there, but yeah, yeah, so. he's old school. Uh, yeah, if yeah. you go back to the uh, the guy for the the Red Sox, oh the, yeah, uh, no, 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 the catcher was he the Red Sox? Oh, for the Royal, go back to like a ten. Oh, okay, <laughs> rewind. My Keith. Oh, Tigers. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely remember that logo, the ABC underneath the eight there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like in Little League, those were like the same kind of helmets that we had. Right. That's true. Now, this one looks a lot more like an actual catcher's helmet as opposed to the other ones. But Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Overall, I would have to say your list is very interesting. Nice. Well, that wraps up my list of top 10 most interesting cards. Which one of my most interesting cards did you find most interesting? Um, and I give you a bonus one. So there's 11 to choose from. So uh, post below which one you thought was most interesting. And uh, next episode, we're going to be looking at Doug's top 10 list of most interesting. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time.